So the Sunrise One trial uh, is looking at BCG unresponsive patients. So these are heavily pretreated patients. And classically, this has been a very difficult um, population to treat. Um, not only uh, do they have issues with response rates, we just haven't had very many options to give these patients. And the standard of care, um, uh, unfortunately, has been radical cystectomy. Um, most urologists and most patients believe that you know radical cystectomy may be a little bit too aggressive in this patient population. So as a community we've been looking for salvage therapy. So this is a drug that is trying to salvage patients that have uh, you know have become unresponsive uh, to BCG. So the the interesting thing about this trial is it's a um, it's a device trial as well. So it's a it's a novel device. It's a silicone device that is deployed into the bladder by a urologist and it looks like a pretzel, and it floats in the in, in the bladder in the urine, um, and it and it um, is a, the the pretzel device um, has like sustained release gemcitabine tablets, and is able to deliver a. Uh, uh, durable dose of gemcitabine uh, to, to the tumor. Uh, so the, the trial w uh, originally was a three-arm trial. To make a long story short, they got rid of the um, immunotherapy combination arms. And so what we're talking about today is a uh, intravesical therapy alone arm. And so these are patients that only received the what's called the TAR-200 device, the intravesical uh, gemcitabine uh, sustained release device. And patients had a so far, phenomenal response. So the primary endpoint was complete response rate, and the complete response rate is around 80%, which is, you know, we haven't seen numbers like that uh, in the past. So everyone's excited about the data.